36 Fragments of Midnight as a basic platformer that can get frustrating but once you get used to it, it isn't frustrating anymore. You know the stereotype. Simple rules, you can jump, double jump, you get one single life, no checkpoints and the obstacles have traps or difficult jumps and twists and you will have to repeat everything so many times till you learn it by muscle memory to pass. This game is like that. You have to collect 36 fragments on a map filled with obstacles. And once you collect everything, you return to the starting point and that's it, you finish the game. It doesn't have much content unfortunately, it feels more like a flash game than a full game. Theoretically the map is randomly generated, but once you get used to all the obstacles, everything will feel the same. Even without getting used to the obstacles, the game will feel like it's the same. The game doesn't have checkpoints nor lives, once you die you start from zero fragments and start over. Also while the game works great on PS4, on Vita the frame rate chugs and I can't understand why. I mean the Vita can run this, but not this. Also due to the bad frame rate, there were times where the response time suffered. And in a frustrating game that's the least you want. So beware if you play it on Vita, but luckily it's cross buy, so if you buy it on PS4 you get it on Vita, and if you buy it on Vita you get it on PS4 too. It doesn't have performance issues constantly on the Vita, but often enough to annoy you. Still the game is 3 bucks, but honestly it's, it's pretty bare bones, so, so don't expect much.